Hello everybody, I am Mrs. Puppet and this is my place. Welcome to my place today for another story time. I have a wonderful tale picked out for us. It's called The Town Musicians of Bremen. Have you heard of that story? Well, why don't we read it together? The Town Musicians of Bremen. There once was a donkey who had worked hard carrying corn sacks to the mill for many years but whose strength was fading fast. These days he was struggling to keep up with his master's demands and could see that his future looked bleak. His master would probably have him slaughtered once his feed cost more than he could earn. He decided to run away, and he set out for the town of Bremen. In Bremen, he thought, I could be a town musician. When he walked some distance, he found a hound laying in the road, panting as though he had run a very long way. Why are you panting, big fellow? I have run away, replied the hound. I am getting older and weaker and can no longer hunt, so my master wanted to kill me. But how will I earn my food? I'll tell you what, said the donkey. I am going to Bremen to be a town musician there. You could come with me. I will play the lute, and you can beat the kettle drum. The hound agreed, and on they went. Before long they came to a cat sitting on the path with a face like three rainy days. Now then, pussy cat, what has gone wrong for you? asked the donkey. Who can be merry when their life is in danger? answered the cat. Because I am now getting old, and my teeth are worn to stumps, and I prefer to sit by the fire rather than hunt mice, my mistress wanted to drown me. I ran away, but where am I to go now? Come with us to Bremen. We will be town musicians. The cat thought that was a good plan and went with them. After walking a distance, the three fugitives came to a farmyard where a cockerel was sitting on the gate, crowing with all her might. What's the matter? asked the donkey. Guests are coming on Sunday, and the farmer's wife has no pity. She has told the cook she intends to eat me in the soup. I'm to have my head cut off later this evening. I am crowing while I still can. Cockerel? You had better come away with us. We are going to Bremen. You can always find something better than death. You have a good voice, and we can make music together. The cockerel agreed to this plan, and all four went out on side by side. They could not reach the city of Bremen in one day, however, and the night was coming on. The cockerel flew high into a tree and saw a light burning further up the road. They decided to go towards it and see whether they could find shelter. They came upon a well-lit house. Because he was the biggest, the donkey went to the window and looked in. What do you see? asked the cockerel. What do I see? answered the donkey. A table covered with good things to eat and drink, and a band of robbers sitting and enjoying themselves. That's just what we need, said the cockerel. Yes, yes, uh, if only it were us in there said the donkey. Then, together, the animals came up with a plan for driving away the robbers. The donkey placed his forefeet upon the window ledge, the hound jumped onto his back, the cat climbed onto the dog, and lastly the cockerel flew up and perched on the head of the cat, and they began to perform their music. The donkey brayed, Whoa! the hound barked, burp, burp. the cat mewed, Mew! and the cockerel crowed, cock a doodle -doo! Then they burst through the window into the room, shattering the glass. At this horrible din, the robbers sprang up, 
thinking a ghost had come in and fled into the forest in great fright. The four companions now sat down at the table and ate all they could wish for. As soon as the four musicians were finished, they put out the light and each found a suitable place for sleeping. The donkey lay on some straw in the yard. The hound rested behind the door. The cat curled up on the warm hearth and the cockerel perched on a roof beam. They were tired from their long walk and soon they were asleep. When it was past midnight and the robbers saw all was dark and quiet in the house, the captain ordered one of them to go inside and look about. This robber found all was still. He went into the dark kitchen to light a candle and, thinking the glistening, fiery eyes of the cat were live coals, he held a match to them to light it. The cat did not understand and flew into his face, spitting and scratching. The robber was dreadfully frightened and ran to the back door, but the dog who lay there sprang up and bit his leg and he ran across the dark yard by the dung hill. The donkey gave him a smart kick with his hind foot. The cockerel, too, who'd been awakened by the noise, cried down from the beam, cock a doo doo The robber ran back as fast as he could to his captain and said, There is a horrible witch sitting in the house who spat at me and scratched my face with her long claws. And by the door stands a man with a knife who stabbed me in the leg. And in the yard there lies a big black monster who beat me with a wooden club. And above, upon the roof, sits the judge who called out, Bring me the robber, do. So I got away as well as I could. After this, the robbers never again dared to enter the house. But it suited the four musicians of Bremen so well that they never wanted to leave. That's a very interesting story. It's, a, it's wonderful how when people are doing something good, good things happen to them. And this story really shows us that, doesn't it? Well, it's been a wonderful spending time with you again, and I look forward to our next story time.